We are here today to launch the annual report of the Africa Progress Panel, Power, People, Planet, Seizing Africa's Energy and Climate Opportunities. This year's report underlines the fact that climate change is a symptom of the collective failure of modern energy systems to operate within a carbon budget. This imbalance is also worsening global inequality. Two-thirds of sub-Saharan Africans lack access to electricity. 600 million people and rising. This is a year of big decisions. This is a year of a bold approach to development. This is a year in which we have to accept climate change is here with us. It's not a question of whether we like it or not. It is a question of taking responsibility. Failure to change the way we do business, it is almost a suicide for us. Climate and development are no more in a collision course. But at the contrary, efforts on the climate side can serve development, particularly inclusive uh, development. Africa has amazing resources of renewable and clean energy, and we need a tenfold increase in power generation to provide all Africans with access to electricity by 2030. We need to put people at the center. It's not only industry, it's people. I think Africa has the responsibility of taking the lead to prove that, yes, you can develop on the basis of clean and renewable energy. We don't have to follow the industrialized world's path of developing power through burning coal and causing pollution. Africa can leapfrog decades of fossil-centered development and ramp up investment in hydropower and other renewable sources and prioritize access for all Africans. Cutting the energy costs of Africa's poorest families by increasing investment could lift as many as approximately 26 million people out of poverty. We have no choice as Africans but to seize this opportunity. The G20 should end fossil fuel subsidies and redirect them to renewable investments. Time is short. Now we are approaching the limits if we want really to fulfill all these objectives. So let's do. We're getting to the point now in the world, including in Africa, that the cost of making energy the wrong way is going to be higher yes. than the cost of making energy the right way. Mm -hmm. And you are showing that tremendously. And it's again the poor that suffer, and your report brings that out. Energy has to be available. It has to be accessible. It has to be affordable. It has to be sustainable. It is not possible for every country in Africa to have energy security from its own sources. We need to have regional energy markets. I think the report this year gives us that moment. It gives us the message. It gives us ease of communication. It, it presents the numbers in a way that even I can understand. And I think we must use the report, but also go back and recognize the value that the African Progress Panel brings to the discourse on development on the continent.